Hello everybody, welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I want to show you something, that, uh, another thing that I've done uh, pretty much. Now it's not something that I've designed, it's actually my high school. High school where I graduated from. It is, uh, it is called Capital High School in Santa Fe. And it's what it looks like from afar from the front, Capital High School. Now what you see here, it's actually on a, on a playing field, um, on the map. As you can see, it's on a map. And the reason for that being was it was my attempt to put it in Google Earth when I was done with it. However, it was too big, too much for Google Earth, so it this is so it's not on Google Earth right now. Still kinda of working on it to may, maybe maybe probably one day it being on Google Earth. Not actually sure about it though. But anyway, um so when you if you were to download the model this is what it looks like. It has this map on it. Now, what we can do is, um, if you actually just want to look at the building, because some of the building gets cut off from the map, we'll just edit component, unlock, and then erase, then close component, and voila, that pesky map is gone. So you can just look at the building. So here is the front of the building. See it has a big tower. And I mean, nice curb appeal. It's kind of an older building. Cinder block with stucco. As you can see, it's stucco-y. I've actually, um, since I've done better stuccos, and I think I'll change it. But, um, for now it seems fine. As you can see, here's the rooftop. Sort of has that white asphalt finish. And if you're also wondering what all this stuff is on top, these are like all these vents and ducts and air conditioners because it would have been too much of a file to even put in the warehouse I just when you look at it from above it looks like legitimates but um, it really um, but um, I just made it in squares Cause here these are like air conditioners and stuff that's just if you're wondering here by looking around the school this is the side that's the front of it where the buses would drop you off and this is where your parents are allowed to, this is where your parents drop off and pick you up off at this curb over here and these stairs are awfully are always crowded The actual school has a mural here, as well as here, as well as over here. However, um, I don't have enough to give to actually be able to copy and paste a photo onto here of the mural, just because of a lot of things. That would have been awfully cool if I could, if I did, but, and I think other people have, have done that stuff before where there were murals on buildings and they able to successfully paste them. I just haven't gotten that far yet. And then there's some mural in here too. And if you're wondering, those doors, that's just the end of a hallway. A long hallway. And then here, you know, that goes into a hallway as well. And this is it. 
one of the three courtyards the school has. Where that's an outer door to uh, to the office area, front office, colonnade, planters. This is all concrete over here. Sorry. That's just a hallway as well. And these little windows here, um made to open so you can have ports also see where these this went part of the wind where the part of the window opens as well back behind you you see the um, the theater and then there's like on top of the cafeteria. We'll go over there in a minute. Then there's your front tower again. I thought these trees were pretty cool, so I imported them. I didn't make the trees, but um, I imported them. Just, I mean, they're good. They're awesome trees. Now we can't go inside the building because I actually didn't do anything inside. I mean, as you can tell uh, already, this file is a little kind of a, pauses a little bit because it's just a big file. So if I were to do anything on the interior, probably wouldn't be able to see it much at all just because it's too stoppy. But there's nothing, it's pretty much just school on the inside. I mean, hallways with classrooms on the side of them, typical of any school. Um, so, yeah. So, here, um, this is where it would be picked, picked, dropped off. The security guard over here would be, like, motioning us for us to go over here to the cafeteria area. As we were all required to, cafeteria, wear your IDs around your neck, etc., etc., Alright, but a stop before the cafeteria, which is over there. The theater house actually has its own tower. And a nice little colonnade in front, as you can see. Now, if you're wondering about how I did this, this was hard. I mean, I can't, I'm not gonna, I can't explain to you more how hard this was. This was terrible. Hard. Actually, it took me a couple weeks to figure out how to actually do this. Especially for it to look the way it does. What I did was I actually used a polygon in the center and I divided it into a certain to how many columns this was and then I did it from line from line and I used that as a template. That's how I did it. And then as you can see this is obviously the theater house because I mean of the just the way the building is made. Sorry more trees but um yeah, so you can see, and what you also notice is this was sloping a little bit downward, so you see the building has a slope. Now over here there are drains. This is um, the um, student commons courtyard where there's picnic tables and benches and stuff, trees. Now another th thing that this building is actually kind of missing um, is there was a, there was like a picnic gazebo here and a picnic gazebo here. However, I didn't have enough to, um, enough information to actually make those. And, um, so those haven't been built. But, I mean, all they are are just, you know, permedial roofs with, um, um, 
four columns and picnic table. I did I couldn't determine the actual height, so that would look weird if I just put them there. And I couldn't determine really, but really accurately of where they are in the courtyard. And also that this courtyard is at an angle, so. So in here, this is a hallway. You go into a hallway in here. But then just beyond that is the cafeteria, which is that which is that tall build kind of building behind you. However, up here we never we're never allowed up here. It's just this area here that this is the cafeteria. This is what the front of it looks like. A lot of trees. Here's what you got. Brick. Walkways. Also stone. This is the interior courtyard. Oh, I'm sorry, the school had four courtyards. My bad. Because there's an, one called the North Courtyard, which is over there. We'll go over there last. But look, as you can see, there's the library up on the second floor. There are the computer labs and stuff. As you can see, there's hallway going all the way around. And yes, these are how the windows all really look, so, um, doors, and then in here, this is the actual cafeteria, in here, and then it goes back to the looping hall system, and you see, it makes sense, because look, you see, this, doesn't this look like a hallway to you? Yeah, it looks like a hallway to me, so. Um, and this is always a nice feature here. I mean, there are benches on the sides here, and people would always go out here and eat their lunch. And there again is the theater house. Sort of kind of gave it that government building appeal. That's my opinion. And then there's just the library again. It has some good, um, it has a lot of good appeal to it. So yeah, I decided, you know. And here, this is actually how the building was made. Oh, in case you're wondering how I actually got all this information, is every time during lunch, I wouldn't actually eat lunch. I would go out and look around the building, observe it. Now, and I actually did, um, I was actually allowed to download the um, school evacuation map, which was actually, which was very accurate in terms of size. Because um, that's whenever I had my first my CAD my first CAD class, I um, there was an exercise where we were working with the school plans, um, and all of those um, dimensions were accurate. So what I did was I actually use that, and then I just built the walls from there. And. Um, There was one record drawing that we found of the front of the school that actually showed a parent, um, the actual, the height of the parapet and then the height of the tower. Also the height of this. So that's how I actually learned that this is like 20 feet and stuff. So the building is accurate, is actually accurate. But I mean, that's pretty much the information that I got. So, um, and we did a project out here, um, our English class did an Earth Day project out here, and um, she had, um, the English teacher actually had our CAD class um, work on drawings of this courtyard so we can paint a mural here, which actually turned out to be a royal bust, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, that was a terrible bust, but... Um,
the mural's gone now, but um, basically, if it's still there, there's nothing left of it but peels and stuff. Who cares? I just had fun getting out of class doing it. And so this is in the north courtyard. So yeah, the school had four, if you include the student comments. Now if you're wondering what this is, this is just a satellite dish. If you haven't been with satellites, you can tell. Okay, so we get out of the hallway here, go in through here, and go in the hallway that way. Now if you're wondering why I actually did the ground in this one, was because actually I was in charge of doing the three-dimensional model for the, just the courtyard alone. And that's actually where this whole model itself came from. Was actually, my friend Mario actually drew the layout of the courtyard in CAD. And um, I was to do it in um, three dimensions so someone else could take my drawings. And um, like I would make views of this and then they would, they would take like a screenshot of it. And um, as an artist themselves, they would Photoshop like mural like things this so I mean we drew a mural here we had like a big sun and all sorts of things like renewal 2011 or something you know no not 2011 sorry renewal 2009 but I mean what's ever actually left of this is nothing and since there has been a greenhouse built here which God forbids it looks like a trashy little thing but I mean and this garden didn't make it so, I mean, and everyone tried to put plant flowers here, which actually didn't make it, but talk about non-successful Earth Day, and people put rock, all sorts of stones here, um, those are there, I think, I haven't been there in a few years, so, another thing is, um, of course, this hatch is here, um, this was an electrical hatch, and this is a drain, obviously, everything comes down to the drain. And another thing is, oh yeah, since I learned that there was a tree planted here because one of the substitute teachers have died. Um, it's not a good thing. I mean, he was, he was, Mr. Dennis was a good guy. He was really nice. He was a cool substitute, but uh, I think like he fell down the stairs and he had to have surgery done. It's a sad story and. The school actually had a moment of silence for him. Yeah, there's some other more sad stories coming from the school, but I mean, it's life and we gotta move on, right? Uh, brings back a bunch of other memories. Another thing I remember about this is um, this here is my chemistry room. One, two, three, four. These four windows here were my chemistry room. Well, the reason why it's so big is because it was also a lab. It was a classroom and a lab at the same time. You know where we had the gas faucets and stuff? And also we had desks. The first half of the room had desks where we'd sit and then Beckman would give his lecture. And in the back of the room, we had um, the lab benches where we had the flasks, the gas, the burners, etc., etc., aprons. Up here was where I actually had my first um, E2020 class up here. And actually, when I was talking about this courtyard about my English class, um... These windows up here, these three here, that was my English classroom. And um, so, conveniently speaking, we can actually look out our windows in the classroom and see the Earth Day progress. We spent a good half a semester on this Earth Day stuff. I mean, the whole, the whole year, she themed it off of um, Earth Day. I mean, the first thing we actually worked off of was the Lorax book that we read. Um, I know my, we were doing environmental science kind of thing in that classroom. Which is actually funny. Um, I had biology in this classroom here. 
and also the year after I had environmental science. I found it kind of interesting. Uh, the teacher was awesome. And both the same teacher for biology and the um, classroom. Alright, so here, you know, this is another hallway that actually goes out over here. Now, there's a road that goes down over here. But it's just a service road. And also faculty, where faculty can park as well. Um, here's another hallway. Now, you see this hallway here. It goes all the way through. Watch my cursor. It goes all the way through here. And then there's a hallway. It joins here. And then the hallway goes through here, 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 here. So it just makes kind of a loop. I should have made a layer just for the hallway system, but I didn't. And then um, there is one hallway that goes through here. Hallway that actually goes through the end here. So this hallway here gets lighted. And then it comes into here. The gymnasium. Primary gym. Auxiliary gym. And then a hallway that actually comes through here. So that's kind of a, a gist of the high hallway system. If you're watching my cursor, um, I don't know if you have or not, but basically it's kind of a looping hall system, and this is kind of what the school looks like at a glance. A lot of hallways. But anyway. So anyway, you come out of the through here. Just whatever the typical of the back of the, of the back of any school would look like. I don't know, I guess yours is brick or something, but here's a chain link gate. Little ports. This is actually where I had art in this in this classroom here. Had nice big windows. But it's funny how these big windows don't actually have a view. This is your view. It's just of this little area here. So yeah, this was the view from the art room. Not very artful, I guess. You see this little building here? This is where we would go to fire our um, clay pots. I was in ceramics, so... Um, um, here would be where the kiln was. This is just how the building is. these little ports open here. Now over here, this is a different room. And there was some restricted access up here. However, these little windows were part of the art room as well. Now this area here, um, I, think, I think it takes like these three I forgot actually, but um, one or two windows here, and this would be our ceramics room. And this is also the loading dock. There's some big door that opens. And um, though the hallway kind of goes in through here, the middle here kind of makes a little bend here. So. The ceramics room takes up about this much of the building. And then, which was next door to the shop class and everything else like that. And what's funny is these areas were actually... And then also, um, building principles. I think engineering principles were at the end. It's funny how, um, this building here is actually, um... You're kind of sharing everything with like the biology, because all almost every other built other room in this in this area here are biology classrooms. 
So yeah. And then here's just more loading dock area. That's where you that's the kitchen area. These are just halls. Um this is the cafeteria. This is like I think the cafeteria again. This is the hallway there that I showed you. Band and choir in these areas. Choir, band. Down here, um, this is the weightlifting gym. It actually looked trashy down there. I didn't like it, but um, it, to me, it was just a concrete basement. Oh, and if you're wondering about this, this is where the ground slopes downward. We're getting near to where the football field is. Restricted access here. This is where the football field is. And also, there are other stands over here, but I didn't make those. I remember this. Is, these are like um, old glass block too. Another reason why I really didn't like it. Here um, are vents and air. Con here's air conditioning. Another thing is um, when we in these gym here, the weights gym. There were ducts going on the ceiling, so this is what you saw. There was a vent over. There was a vent on the inner here. And how I determined this was actually I measured the vent when I was in there. And this is a hallway, and this is also a hallway, as I showed you. Here's kind of a vestibule area, and then just inside there, you would actually see the the gymnasium. Now this isn't actually the this isn't actually the gymnasium um the entire gymnasium what you see because um the the gym you notice it looks really small but actually short but the gym actually goes a whole story underground. So when you walk in you walk in over here you're automatically um on the upper on the top level of where the the level of the top of the risers. And as you can see here, um, the front of the gym has its own little colonnade, which is nice. This is where you get your um, game tickets. Like Jaguars, um, volleyball, basketball, etc., etc. Or even football tickets because we go around here to and then go down a bunch of steps to get to the football field. And as you can see, the letters C H S Capital High School. And yes, it has its own little tower. So I mean. The three, and you see now the three towers of power, which that's what they call it in our school. Um, there's, a, and they'll put them together, academics, the arts, and then the athletics. Or I think they had in the order, academics, athletics, and the arts. Which, I mean, makes sense for a school. I mean. Yeah. Here you just see... In case you're wondering what this is, these are just bricks. Typical of Santa Fe architecture. So yeah, in this little vestibule here, you you walk in, you know, you see a little concession stand. Also see wall trophy wall, and then you go around it, and there are where you go down. You see C H S the letters. Which I find that a little cre somewhat creative. Here, you just, here's just a um, over here is where a bunch of tennis courts are, and then way on the other end are basketball goals. This school is where a lot of people just ditch like crazy, and over here, this is also where students would stand around and smoke during their lunch break, lunch hour. Um, so, 
Oh, in case else you're wondering, this is this is where ground meets the school. This is just a bunch of this is just a big hill. So you come in. You come on down. All these steps. And you actually see the bottom, sorry. And you actually see where the bottom is here. The bottom level. That's actually the level of the gym in here. So this down here. And this is you looking at the um, football. The actual school has a painting, a big jaguar here. Uh, J. That looks like a jaguar. And then... Jaguar spelled out here because we were the Jaguars. Mm. This more the colonnade. And again, more stairs. So yeah, I mean. Not a bad look, not a bad looking building, I guess. I guess, you know, I mean, it just could have looked, had a little cleaner of a look. I mean, in, in real life, it just really had that really oldish looking appearance. The architecture was nice, it just really looked old. I guess new stuccoing and new paint, but it was all cinder block and everything. And it was built decades ago, so, I mean... So what can you expect? This is the auxiliary gym here. The level of the auxiliary gym is the level of this door here. So then here are just a bunch of big windows above. And well, that's pretty much it in terms of my school. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm. This is what we'd be seeing when we'd come through the get the guard house. This is the just the view of the front. It's funny how close it actually looks. Because um, we are kind of, this is what we would be seeing. Let's be seeing those windows above here, all the towers of power, and from a distance. I mean, it's very accurate. And almost a year of, almost a year of in the making. Yeah, it took a little over a year to, to from, from that courtyard model to actually look like the way it does now. to show you how much research and how much work went into it. Yeah, now there are a few things here where like you would see skylights and stuff, but um, those are where our that's where some stairs were. Stairs were over here. Main stairway over here. Stairs out here. Stairs over here. It's funny how wherever there were stairs, there's a skylight. I guess in case there was a power outage, we can always see where the stairs are. And then obviously the gym has stairs inside. And then those there are those restricted access stairways. But, um, yeah, that's my high school in a nutshell. But, um, get it? Shell? Ha uh ha. -huh. No, that was not funny. Okay. Um, I hope you liked it. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate it.
And, you know, I encourage you, if you want to, if you're in high school now, you know, or middle school or elementary school, I mean, if you like SketchUp, I mean, for, for all means, you know, see what you can do. Um, make your school in SketchUp or, and then show it, you know. I mean, I encourage it. I mean, this is, this is what I, um, would like to see. I'd like to see how others think, how others make things. Be creative. I mean, if there's anything you'd like to show me, I'd be glad to see it. I mean, it may take a year, it may take more. I mean, I know for, for God's sakes, it actually took over a year for this to be built. Um, in my SketchUp. Even with all the components I was using. So I encourage you. I'd like to see where you... I mean, also, you know, we learn about your school, we kind of look at your background, see what... See what you have. Alright, well, again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Y'all have a great day. And please do that rating, comment, subscribing. I want to see more. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.